torque arms are finished uh, I'm just printing the the mounting for them basically it's going to fit around the mounting is going to fit around here and it's going to sit in between that so there's going to be a bit of bit of cushioning and then the torque arm mount will clamp around this and then it will also clamp around that so that will stop that moving that's not going to move anyway if you imagine that the torque the motors turning that way so the torques going to be this way so that's going to be pushing against this so I'm not going to really need to clamp it that tight it's not going to move out of here it physically can't because the nut sits on the end there it pulls it inwards it ain't going to go up it ain't going to it's just not going to move brilliant design brilliant thanks tony no that's me <laughs> moving on to the front this is how i'm having the electronics obviously subvertons are going to go there um my 20 amp uh, 12 volt dc dc is going on the front there I like that. The wires are going to go, I haven't got the faintest idea. <coughs> if you have a look at this, this is probably the fifth the fifth design I've come up with and uh, yeah there's a bit of a uh, it's a bit tight there. <laughs> It'll be fine. So I'm just printing, uh, I'm just printing the torque arm Obviously there's got to be a covering, there's a, there's a complete covering that goes over this which has got to be printed in four parts. People who think it's going very very slowly, uh, it's because, I mean the version 2 went really really slowly but this one is going to go slower because I've got to be considerate about certain things. Like it can't have any corners on it, it's got to be rounded off. And things like this it took so long to design because I've got to be mindful of the screws sticking out so I've had to put recesses in here so as the screws don't stick out at all these are for the ones in the middle of that they're for the um, the mounting onto the down tube so that's why it's taken so long how oh, and I've put some tape around there I found some um, sort of a matte tape and it's a cloth tape, fantastic stuff. Can't remember where I got it from there. So that goes on there, like that. I've got to take that, that's a bit of support material, I've still got to take that out. And then the cable tie goes in there and clamps around there. So that's why it's taking so long. So if you want something, if you want to see a video of somebody building one tomorrow, then go and have a look at a bloody cheap shit one that takes two minutes to build. It's up to you. Oh yeah, I've been on the course. Well, I haven't actually. It was just a video I saw. A YouTube Insider video that they keep sending you. And it said on there, it says to actively ask people to subscribe. So, turn that red thing grey. Wherever it is. Down there, is it? There you go, I've asked you. <laughs> if you don't want to, I don't give a shit. Oh, things are finally starting to move at a decent speed now I've got the battery done because that was the biggest part to actually assemble and yeah I know it would be anyway this is version one of my torque arm set up there's the torque arm which you can't really see but it's actually in this piece here uh, these slots are just for cable ties this has got a recess in it so as you can slot the the phase wires into it um, I don't know I'm amazed actually how this has gone together that's just there temporarily I've just got to get someone else for that but you can see where the, the torque arm sits there's got to be another version of this purely because this is a bit too tight on the disc so I'm going to have to I don't know yet <laughs> I ain't got a clue uh, and it's a bit too high, it's got to come, it's not, yeah, I don't like it, it should come up to about there rather than down here. So that was a bit of a, but it fits, that's what I wanted to do, is make sure it fits before I do another a proper version. Um, I've had to order a different um, 
is an IS to post or whatever it is mount for the caliper. My other bike, I had 160mm um, IS post mount on there and it fitted fine and, and it won't fit on this one. The caliper won't actually go on, it, it sits out to about here. So I need, I've ordered one of those, I've got to wait for that to come in. Moving on to the front. That's partly done. I'm still printing the bits. I mean, like just this piece here, that took about nine hours to print. That section there took 11 hours. The front section took 11 hours. That took 13 hours to print. So I'm going to put the regulator in the front here. A sabaton obviously goes there, which is sat on some washers to give it some clearance. That's all. Uh, wires are all there, obviously. Wires are all there, obviously. Phase wires, which I've loosely put on there, just wanted to make sure that it just about bloody fits. But I think I'm going to have to do them again, because I need a bit more space than that. Um, on there I've had to put a, a hump because of the suspension and the way that it actually sits. So... Yeah, I'm going to have to redo these. Never mind. Uh, what else have I done? I put the front brake on. Hang on, I'll turn the bike over. Well, I just went to turn the bike over. Knock the lamp over. Set fire to some cloths. <laughs> the things I'll do for you guys. Hang on. Right, here we've got the domino throttle. Oh, that is so smooth, and you might be able to hear it. It's got a motor cut out on it, which is good, which is what I need. These are I had to get these for the MSVA because of the the end has got to have a, a ball. It has to have a ball end, and it also has to have, be a minimum of seven millimeters in diameter. I don't know how it's going to affect it, I don't fully understand what the test necessities are but I can only pull this with two fingers see I can only I can only get two fingers on there and they do need they need bleeding absolutely do need bleeding um, and also the cabling I'm not going to run it with that amount of pipe don't worry <laughs> now these have also got attached to this these are actually the the breaker ones so when you pull that very slight I don't know if you can see how these work focus you f see the lever actually moves there before it actually operates the plunger so I don't know how that's going to work I don't know if that's possible to use it so I'm now printing the the second part of the, the it's in a three it's a three part casing obviously the front the middle and the back so I'm just printing the second part now which takes another 11 hours and then the back one takes I can't remember it's finally moving at a decent pace it really is moving now so and that don't look bad at all I thought that might look like a right monstrosity, but it's, it seems fine actually. Ay, ay, ay. Nice four pot calipers on the front. And I will have four pot calipers on the back as well. Eventually, when my bits turn up, if they ever do. The seller feedback was shite, but it was the only option I had. At the moment, it's two steps forward, ten steps back. It's just bloody ridiculous. These are the Magura brakes, which aren't, and nothing's actually tightened up at the minute. Um, I've got the front one, is that, that one's the front one, this one's the back one, obviously, because that's the way that they work. The back one goes to the back, the front goes to the front. So these are the brakes. Now, I've got a bit of a problem. On the front one, I'm okay. There's the caliper. The four pot caliper, that's fine, that's done, but the back one, I've got this same problem when I can get the light on it. 
I've got the same problems I always have, uh, the same as before. This, I don't know if you can see how much gap there is there. None, very little. So somehow, I don't know how I'm going to do this one yet. Um, I can't pull the disc out any further because as you can see down there you can see the spaces that's actually on the limit of the hub so I can't pull that further out I can't pull that over because then the, the caliper isn't going to be sitting directly in the middle of the disc this is a lottery thing you have to it's just troll and error taking the wheel off putting it back on take it off put it back on oh it's an absolute nightmare but it's all is it in line? Is that in line? Near as damn it. Yeah, that's in line. So I've got those done. Now, the handlebars. Obviously they've got to have, uh, number one, a light switch. Which is going to be that one, I think. Uh, that'll be off. No. I know it says two, zero and one, that'll be off, that'll be side lights, that'll be headlights, that one's the kill switch for the motor, this one is dip and main beam, there's my indicators, there's the horn, I haven't got a hazard, one, hazard warning light one yet, so I've got a, a somewhere the hazard warning one doesn't really matter where you put it, I don't think anyway from what I've heard. Um, so I might put it somewhere, I don't know, I might put it here, don't know, don't know. So there's my kill switch. Um, I was going to use full blown motorbike ones, but unfortunately they don't fit. There's, there's something with these bloody brakes, they won't... No, oh, it's it's an, I ain't kidding. It's a nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. I've had to put all these on here purely because of all the wiring that I've got to pull through. So I've got to feed all that through there tidily. Somehow. Obviously the domino throttle as well, that's got to go through there. Um, we've got the kill switches here. They're actually going to be the bright light switches, one on each one. That's why I had to use this. Uh, I had to use these because they've got a, th a switch on them. I hope it's the right way. I'm going to be using an Arduino, which I'm going to be fitting in the the electronics box under there to control all the lights, the indicators, the horn, and absolutely everything. So hopefully, I should be able to show you how to bloody make one up because it should be quite straightforward he says <laughs> so there you go that's all look at that done right next thing I'm doing is I'm print just printing off it's going to be about another couple of hours I think the um, the supports that go for the battery which are going to be bolted to the front of the crossbar so it, they're quite simple actually I'm, I'm, I'm amazed how easy it was to design them and here's me electronics box which ain't perfect but it's got to be sanded down and smoothed off and everything well that's the cover for the box anyway it's quite quite heavy duty really because I didn't want anything smashing against it I definitely didn't want it bloody breaking so obviously that's got to go on on the underside um, I've got to figure out because I've had to route the brake wire brake wire <laughs> I've had to route the hydraulic um, brake hose down there and then it goes up the back there and it goes down you know so I need to modify the mounting that goes on here so there's some room for that to actually sit in a, in a recess which is going to be interesting on the back brakes as well there's the caliper I've had to use that one the Megura uh, caliper wouldn't actually fit it won't it's just way too wide it touches against the motor but the thing is I mean I did well, I, th I think probably about 15 no about 600 sorry 600 miles on a set of brake pads on the back um, because the back only takes about 20% of the braking force oh, I wish it was done I want it done now I've had enough I don't want to play anymore I want my 
bowl, but 